Hey, hi, how are ya? Welcome back to a Beginner's Guide to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, it's now August, it just got done raining. I fast forward through the morning a little bit because it was raining. We don't want to harvest in the rain. Um, I went ahead and prepared our three other fields for planting, so they're ready to go. Um, and our field is ready to harvest. We have sorghum in that field, right? what that was it is so i'm gonna go harvest the sorghum this is the field that we have the 100 percent plus 100 percent yield on so i'm going to harvest that and then that'll most certainly be less than a harvester full i'll put that in the silo and we'll see how much we get out of this field and then we're gonna build a chicken coop so I'll get to harvesting and I'll see you when I'm done. The field harvested. The harvester put away. The sorghum, 6,647 liters of straight chicken feed. The chickens about to be here. All right, so if we hit shift P, oops. That'll bring this up, go into the animals tab, go into chickens, and we obviously can only afford the little guy here. And I think this looks like an excellent place to put it. Uh, maybe bring it right out to the edge of the driveway here. Make sure, yeah, free mode is off. And it's still exactly six thousand dollars which means it's gonna do no leveling it'll just paint around it a little bit i'm gonna move it just a little out from there i think we're gonna do a little goofing with the landscape too i want to put maybe some bushes uh mostly along the back edge kind of separate it from the field a little bit let's see how well this works How do those look? Uh, those kind of look. Can we go with a bigger bush? Oh, uh, yeah, that's about... That's about the right height. Bring it, like, right along the fence. Why not? The chickens don't care. But this will separate our chickens from our field. So, they're not getting... All scared of our tractors not that they would i don't know what chickens do and don't like as far as i know they run out in the road um because around where i live several people have chickens that just let them free roam in their yard and so chickens will just stand in the road they're not very smart i don't think they'd be scared of a tractor but it looks kind of cute i also want to throw a, a tree in there so they get a little shade Ooh, these are expensive. Oh, and huge. That is a big tree. Much bigger than I was expecting. That's still kind of big. What do we got? What do we got? Well, that's a little too small. That's not going to give much shade. We need, we need to find exactly the right tree for these chickens. Why are trees so expensive? Ooh, pretty willow. Oh, pine trees. Uh, let's go. That's five hundred dollars, but it'll definitely cheer the place up a little bit. See that? That'll shade a good third of the yard, the chicken yard, without really being in the way of anything. So we're gonna do that. Put it. Oh, right there boom all right now our chickens have a wonderful place to live even if it is just a fenced in square so if we come over to there's a few things to know chickens obviously will spawn in there this is where we drop the grain it'll fill up their feed tray this area here 
is going to be where the egg pellets spawn. And the little paw symbol is where we can buy chickens. So we can buy them for $5 a piece. They're zero months old. Gestation period is two months. And then puberty, they hit at six months, which means they won't start producing eggs for the first six months. I don't think you're older than six months. Oh, they won't start reproducing until six months. Gestation period, two months. So maybe they won't start producing eggs until... Yeah, so eggs every two months. If we buy these, they're ten times the price. But we don't have to wait six months for them to start making baby chickens. Um, And so that's free chicken, right? We can hold 30... How much do they eat? We don't have mods on, so we don't need a rooster. Roosters are cute, but they don't do anything. We might buy one anyway. Just one, just to have it for looks. But let's go ahead. So if I double click on chicken, and now highlights down here, we can pick how many chickens we want. We do, let's do 14 chickens and a rooster. Because that'll be half full for this pen. That gives them plenty of space to reproduce, but 14 chickens should make some eggs. Uh, there is a $70 fee for transport. That really matters more with all of the other animals. You cannot transport chickens in, in the base game, so you're forced to pay the transport fee. But there are trailers for horses and cows and pigs and sheep. Um, but chickens, they don't have a chicken trailer or let you put them in the bed of your truck. So you have to pay the fee. $770 for 14 chickens. Better be some good tasting chickens. And then $5 for a single rooster. Just to liven it up. And do a little bit of realism. All right, let's go look at our birds. There's our rooster. And we have several breeds of chicken. Now, let's feed them. If we hop in our little guy here. And close that. This has just a tiny little dump bed on it. So if we pull in here, we can hit our... We want the sorghum. That holds 460 liters. Then we'll just back it up over here. And it should pop up on the bottom. Yep. I. Back it up close. There we go. That's as close as we can get and still be in the trigger. And there we go. Pour it straight in there. Then what we can do is go into the regular menu. And if we come to the cow icon, that is our animals. So you can see we have 14 chickens. They're selling for $10 a piece right now. Uh, it shows their productivity. Which, okay, so their health will go up to 100 once they've been in here for a while. Productivity is how much they're working on eggs. Eggs is how much the entire pen is storing. So th this side's pen information. So I guess that's not productivity for the single chicken or the set of chickens. Because So when they have babies, there will be another line of chickens here um, because this is all of the chickens in the pen that are six months old and have the same health and stuff. If we have chickens that are then going to be zero months old when they're born, they'll come up as another line. Um, and then if we get more pastures or anything else, they'll separate into their own sections on the side here. We are, oh, what do you say? Three-fifths full. So we'll go ahead and run another load in here just so that it's nice and full. I don't know how much uh, they're actually going to eat. The sorghum may last them until the barley is ready. 
um, in several months. When is the barley going to be ready? Because I think we plant it next month. Yeah, barley's planted in September. Harvested in June. So, I didn't go over this before, but it's the bars cover two months, meaning barley we can plant in September or October, and then it can be harvested in June or July. If we plant in September, we'll be able to harvest in June. If we wait until October, we'll be able to harvest in July. That's kind of how you read this. But we have basically, what was it, a year? What is it now? Almost a year. We got 11 months. Nine. Nope. Over here. So we have 10 months. 10 months we need this sorghum to last. So we'll find out. These pens are not very big. There's not that many chickens in there. So. Even maxed out with chickens. That's not that many chickens. So they shouldn't eat through this grain too super fast. I don't think. We'll check it every day, though. I'll just put what's left in here. Back in the silo. If we look back at the chickens. We now have... Um, full pen. So the grain says it's 100% effective. You have the effectiveness. Um, that really only matters with... Cows, I think pigs, and maybe horses... Um, because cows, you can feed them multiple different things. You can feed them, uh, total mixed rations, which you have to make yourself, or you can feed them hay, I believe. Um, and you may be able to feed them just straight silage, but they all, it'll list in the pen, the different foods that they'll take and how effective that is. Uh, and that's going to affect their productivity. I know if you feed your cows hay, they will not produce milk. They'll stay alive and they'll be healthy, but they won't produce milk, I believe is what it is. It's hard to remember what all the rules for non-modded... Um, non-modded farm sim is because... You end up using so many mods that adjust those things slightly that remembering what exactly the base rules is gets a little cloudy on some of those specifics. But this is not a bad little pen. Now we get to hear our chickens clucking all day long. Um, I'll go ahead and get that field prepared for seed and then next month I'm going to plant barley on everything the sorghum as you can see didn't even leave straw you don't get straw from sorghum you get it from wheat barley and maybe oats I believe uh, but the barley is what we're going to use when we get the mill and it'll double as chicken feed, so if we do get the barley before we run out of chicken feed, we'll keep some back so that we can keep feeding our chickens. That's why I'm going to plant it in all four fields. Um, if we do run out of chicken feed before then, you can go into the store and under big bags, they have wheat. For chicken feed and I think they have it in the pallets as well yeah wheat for chicken feed and they have oats for horses and pig food perfectly balanced food pellets you want to try not to buy food for your animals very much because that eats up all the profit that you're getting from the animals it's much more profitable to make the food yourself instead of just buying it from the store but it's a stopgap as you get in your your farm set up and your capacity going and everything um, and eventually we'll expand probably to at least 47 and 48 so we have this whole section here and then we can start growing we could start growing separate crops and stuff maybe make 
47 um, just for chicken food. And then we could use the other several fields for whatever we wanted. But I'll go ahead and we'll mulch. Um, mulch, cultivate, lime. Actually, I don't know if this needs lime again. It doesn't, they don't need lime super often. Yeah, so it's not going to need lime. Um, but it will need to be mulched. Mulched and cultivated. And I swapped our cultivator for this. This is a subsoiler, which works about the same. It prepares the field. Uh, the good thing about subsoilers is if you're playing with periodic plowing, uh, I believe this gets rid of the needs plowed state as well. But I swapped it out because I was able to buy this for the same price as selling our cultivator. And this is three meters wide. Our, cultiv our, our cultivator was only two and a half meters wide. And I wanted to run it like this. Um... I'll show you how I set it up, or how I did those fields. What I did was have the mulcher on the front. And then the cultivator on the back. So I could do both steps at once. And if we could plant, if we were doing this the same month that we planted you could actually hook that cedar right onto the back of this which let me see if this pulls up stones those other ones had stones in them so i didn't really check but if we turn that on these are the same width so i can go right from one state to the other and it does not look like it pulls up stones I don't see any actually on the ground. Yeah, I don't see any pulling up. So if I waited, I could actually hook this to the back of there. And I think we have enough horsepower, because this is what, 190 horsepower tractor? Oh, what do we got? Yes, it's a 190 horsepower tractor. And these implements take... What do you take, Cedar? That needs 125 horses. You... Ooh, 150. So technically, I think you would want to be 275 to run them both at the same time at full speed. So you might, I might end up going a little slow if I were to do it this way. But you could Frankenstein it. And if we had a slightly, you know, bigger tractor, you can Frankenstein it like this with certain implements you can hook them together but we could run it mulcher in the front cultivator and then cedar and do it all in one step i'm not gonna be able to do that right now because we can't plant until next month but either way i will get this uh all ready to plant and then we'll plant next month and the next thing I'll bring you back for is probably November. I think November is when we're selling stuff. We'll collect the eggs. May need to have, may need to swap tractors before then. Get rid of this tractor. I might have to end up losing a couple of those horsepower because that tractor can't get a front loader on it. And we need a front loader. This is what a 4755. Let's double check that. Yeah, it doesn't have the option for a front loader. Uh, what can we get for it? We we'll sell for 69,000 right now. It's fully repaired. That's 41,000. That's a significant drop though. 
even that that's all so that's 140 horsepower but this tractor would allow us to hook up a front loader on the front so that we could use pallet forks and move around our eggs and then eventually our flour and our bread pallets they're all going to need something with forks on it whether it be this or can always go and get we have there's forklifts you can get an actual forklift which eventually once we could afford it probably leave one of those at each of our um leave one at the mill and one at the bakery once we buy both of those and get the thing up and running that way when we needed to load up we didn't have to bring something there that had pallet forks we would have one right there uh you can also use there's front loaders which you can get pallet forks or wheel loaders would be a little excessive there's telehandlers which you can use pallet forks for these are fun little machines um it's like a massive uh forklift but this boom arm here the arm goes up fairly high and then this will extend way out as well so they're good for high work and that sort of thing. Nothing that you necessarily need in game most of the time, but they're you see them on farms all the time because they're very versatile. You can do all sorts of things with them. Uh, and then there's skid steers, of course, which you can get forks for skid steers. But if you so if you click on something and hit combinations, it'll show you all the tools for it. You can get bump. You can get a bucket, you can get pallet forks, bale spear, manure forks, uh, wrapped bale handler, which I was watching somebody else's YouTube the other day, and these work surprisingly well. Uh, they were using it on, um, actually on a front loader on a tractor, but I, I'd never actually used those, but that worked surprisingly well. A stump grinder and a brush and log fork these work really good too for what they're for but yeah so that'll be it for today all we did was buy some chickens we did a little harvesting bought the chickens we have a little more field work to do um but i know you don't want to sit through that like i said we'll let this stuff grow for a while i'll keep our chickens fed while you're gone and then uh i'll bring you back as we're moving into the next steps for the farm Thank you so much for wa for watching. Ooh, there's a much bigger dip here than I thought there was. I didn't notice that before. You see it at just the right angle, you can tell. Because we flattened out from back here. Eh, that's fine. It is what it is. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Happy farming, and good luck.